What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. So as you guys know, usually my videos are featuring an entire fishing trip with a ton of different fish catches in them, but this video is only going to be featuring one fish catch. This one. If you guys live in Utah and have been keeping up with Utah fishing news, then you've probably seen this photo before, and that's because it's been everywhere. It's made its way around Facebook and Instagram. Heck, it's even been on the local news. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you watching this video that probably don't understand why this is such a big deal, and I can assure you that as you watch the video, things will be explained. But to summarize it, Strawberry Reservoir is a trophy trout fishery, and walleye are not supposed to be in this lake. And the fact that I've caught one proves their existence in the lake, which can possibly lead to some big problems down the road for this trophy trout fishery. If you guys want to read more into the specifics of why this is such a big deal, I will have the DWR's official news release on the situation linked below. Um, they did a great job at explaining this whole situation and kind of why this is a big deal and could lead to bigger problems. But without any further ado, let's hop right into the footage. Any followers? Nope. Only, only made two casts though. I've been working it really slow. Oh, there we go. Got him right there. As you said that, any followers? There we go. Oh, I left the net in the car. No. It's not a giant, but he's got some pretty colors. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good way to start the open water session today. Second cast. There he goes. See you later, pal. Look at him slowly swimming off back into the depths. Nice. Yep, there's mine. Got him right there. <laughs> Not a giant, but it's a pretty fish. Cool sight fishing eat. I always love to see it. There you go. Cool fish. Good cut. There he goes. Well, this spot was good to us for a little bit, but we're going to go move to another spot. Exactly. Not all great things can last forever, to quote Grant. All right, so this is where all the excitement happens. So me and my friend Grant had just moved spots, I had just walked down to the lake, and I make a cast. And it's right here that I noticed a dark shape of something sitting maybe three to four feet off the bank in front of me. My first instinct is that I'm looking at a rock or a log or something, but the more I look at it, I kind of realize that it kind of looks like a fish. I'm not convinced at this point, but I think to myself that just out of curiosity, I should drop my jig in front of whatever it is, and if it is a fish, try and get some sort of reaction out of it. So that's exactly what I did, and I'll let the rest of the footage play. Ooh, that's a big fish. That is a big fish, holy crap. Giant, Grant, giant! It's a walleye! What the heck? It's a walleye! What in the world? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? It's a walleye! Dude, wait, what? What the what? 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 There's not walleye in this lake. What the heck? Why is it a walleye? <laughs> Did someone release wall what? Oh my gosh, it's a giant walleye. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What just happened? What just happened? There's there's not walleye in here. <laughs> oh. Dude, look at the eye. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Were you recording? Yeah. He was sitting on that rock. There's... What? This is the first walleye that's ever been caught out of this lake. Dude. Oh, I... <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Hold up. Guys, that's a walleye. And that is like a six pound walleye. What? He was sitting right there. I thought it was a, I thought it was like a giant cut. <sighs> okay, hang on a second. What? What in the crap? What in the crap? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I have done the impossible. What? So it turns out strawberry has six pound walleye. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard that right. I just caught a six pound walleye from shore at strawberry. 
Shut up. I'm not even kidding. I'm not. It's I, we just weighed it. It's six pounds. Holy crap! The first that walleye, the first walleye ever caught out of this. Like where? Like someone had to have brought it in from Starvey. Dude, that's gonna start the discussion boards on fire. Oh, I know. Like what is like what? Have I uncovered? Like, is this the next burbit? Like, what is happening? <laughs> I wonder what the DWR wants you to do. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think you should bring it home and eat it. Well, I agree. I don't think they'll want me to let it go. I'm just but still. Let's call them and see what they want you to yeah, do. Grant's bringing the the charger down so I can hook my phone up to the charger. I'm just I'm just trying to process what is in my net right now. Okay. See ya. Bye. All right. So. A little bit of an update. Been calling a bunch of people. Um, got a biologist we're gonna call here. Hey, um, my dad just called you. I'm the one who just caught the walleye up at Strawberry. Oh, okay. I just wanted to like triple check to make sure that you were at Strawberry and not at Starvation. Yeah, not Starvation. So, like, you know you know exactly where you're at. Yeah, we are, we are on the dam at Strawberry. We've been catching cutthroat all day. We just got to the dam of Strawberry. We went out. I saw this walleye sitting maybe three feet off the shore. I dropped my tube jig in front of it. I thought it was a big cutthroat, and it ate it, and turns out it's like it's a six-pound walleye. So. Obviously, that is not a fish that's supposed to be in strawberry. Yeah. Um, it's going to reproduce, and there's probably more than one if you caught one with a pole. Yes. So, getting every one of them out of there that you could get out would be a good idea. Yeah. Right now. But if you just want to send me a picture and a map pan of kind of where you caught it, sure. Um, I'm actually going to be in the central region, but I can, I can forward all the information on okay. the right people. So they know what's going on today. Awesome. And I appreciate you calling though because it sometimes doesn't get called in or reported for Yeah. Yeah, that's that's an illegal introduction is what that is. Someone yep, that's exactly. Probably took it from starvation. Who that, knows how long ago? Yeah, that was my first guess. I mean, it's a healthy fish. I mean, it looks like it's been doing well, so I don't know how long it's been in here, but I mean, yeah, it's it's really interesting that you could see it though, sitting right there. Oh yeah, a maybe. Really walleye or a, a bottom yeah. Dwelling. They don't like the sunlight. Yeah, Any no. Yeah, I just caught it like ten minutes ago. It maybe was like three, four feet offshore, just huh. sitting on the bottom, and I I thought for sure it was a big cutthroat. But. Interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, never seen anything like it. So we'll uh, we'll dispatch it. We'll take it home, but figured okay. that. I'd let you guys know. I'll send you that information right away. Yeah, take a couple good pictures of it, like a side profile, front on profile yeah. of it, so I have to do, do some good pictures. And okay. Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, you too. See ya. Well, how about that? No way. I am. I don't. I don't even know <clears throat> what's even going on right now. Let's just. Let's just take a look at this fish here, now that I'm not too worried about getting it back in the water. Flare it out. Oh my gosh. Dude. Look at that thing. Six pound walleye at Strawberry Reservoir. Unreal. Just look at that. Look at that head. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh. mean gosh. thing. Look at the size of that dorsal fin. Dude, that tail too. That's a Unreal. And this is a healthy, thick fish. So obviously, as you can guess, this is most definitely an illegal introduction. There's a reservoir pretty close by called Starvation Reservoir, and it's a trophy walleye fishery, arguably, in fact, not even arguably, probably the best walleye fishery in the state of Utah. And it's only 30 minutes down the road or so, so undoubtedly this fish came from there. Someone probably caught it, released it in here, and because this is a blue ribbon trophy trout fishery, um, obviously we don't want to try jeopardizing that. Now the fact that I've caught this means that most likely there's more, um, but... Anyways, we're gonna be taking this home and eating it, and uh, yeah. But I don't, I don't even know if I could think of a cooler bycatch. I'm still in shock a little bit. This is crazy. <laughs> How do you manage? I don't even know, but that's at least that's at least 24. Yeah, look at that, 25 incher, 25 inches. Let's uh, 
let's get back to fishing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we just made Utah history, Grant. No one's ever done that before. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm so happy I don't even care that I just did this. I could finally prove that I'm an awesome fisherman. For that fish, you were nothing. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you just brought me for the gas money. <laughs> Before that fish, you were nothing. <laughs> well, there you have it. Probably some of the craziest footage I've filmed in the last year, if not in my channel's entire history. There has been another walleye sighting since mine was caught. Someone ice fishing at Mud Creek Bay claimed to have seen one on their underwater camera. And for those unfamiliar with the lake, Mud Creek Bay is on the complete opposite side of the lake from where my fish was caught, which confirms that the population of walleye that is in Strawberry are scattered throughout the lake. But hopefully this will work out for the best and we can continue to enjoy the amazing fishing that Strawberry has offered for years. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. Usually I'm out on the water, not on my couch, filming legit full-length fishing videos. So uh, yeah, consider subscribing. Got a bunch of epic stuff coming soon and I'm pretty sure you won't regret it. But other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.